Today, Peppa and Susie oh. are playing in the treehouse. Oh, hello, Susie. Do come along in. How awfully, terribly kind. They're pretending to be grown-ups. We should have a big, delicious cuppa. Gosh, we are having lots of weather, aren't we? <gasps> Someone is at the door. Sorry to interrupt. Your oh. mummy is here to take you home, Susie. Aww. But we were going to have a tea party like grown-ups. Can we have a sleepover in the treehouse, Grandpa? Please? Oh, um... Of course <laughs> you can. You and Susie can sleep in the treehouse and Grandpa Pig and I will camp out here to look after you. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and Susie are Yay! very excited to have a Woohoo! sleepover in the treehouse. Here are your sleeping bags, oh. <laughs> pillows, <laughs> lots of cuddly toys, <laughs> and the best bit, a special starry lantern. Wow! wow. Ta-da! <laughs> All finished. Oh. Oh. Huh. Suppose I don't need these. Grandpa Pig is excited to sleep in the tent, Whoa. too. Whoa! Ah, or perhaps I do. Once he has uh. rebuilt it. <laughs> <laughs> it is bedtime now, so Granny and hmm. Grandpa Pig are going to their tent. Good night, you two. We're just here if you need us. <laughs> <gasps> Look, Susie. My shadow's really big. Ooh. <laughs> Mine is a bird. Tweet, tweet. And mine is a butterfly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's really loud. Granny Pig, we need you. Oh. Oh. Is everything okay? There was a really loud noise. Gosh. No monsters here. Just Grandpa <gasps> Pig snoring. Oh! <laughs> Peppa and Susie love sleeping oh. in the treehouse. What's, what's all this then? Oh, dear. <laughs> Even with Grandpa Pig snoring next door. Today, Peppa and her family are going on the night train to a very far away seaside. It's bedtime now. We can play with the beach ball tomorrow at the beach. But I don't want to go to sleep. Well, we're not going to sleep yet. We're having a sleepover. Yay! Peppa and George <laughs> love sleepovers. Can we have a midnight feast? You need to have a midnight feast at a sleepover, Daddy. It's the rules. Right you are. Follow me. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone has come to the dining carriage to get the midnight feast. Hello. Oh. Hello. What would you like? We'd like a midnight feast, please. One. <gasps> Midnight feast coming up. Here you go. Fruit and warm milk. Perfect before a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. Everyone tucks into their midnight feast, gives their teeth a good brush and gets comfy in bed. Can we have a bedtime story? Oh, OK, Peppa. Just one story, and then sleep. Hooray! This is the story of the magic night train. Ooh! Once upon a time, there was a magic night train, which didn't need train tracks because it could fly. Ha <laughs> ha
Peppa had a wonderful dream about a magical night train. Look, we arrived at the seaside. Peppa and her family have arrived at the very far away seaside, and they all enjoyed their train sleepover. Peppa Pig and her friends are at the aquarium today. They're all pretending to be fish. What's that? This is an octopus. It has eight long wibbly wobbly legs. Ooh. Actually, an octopus only has two wibbly wobbly legs. The other six are wibbly wobbly arms. Rip wobb, rip wobb. Wow! I wish I had a rainbow tail. <gasps> Let's be mermaids, Susie. <laughs> but we don't have mermaid tails. But we can pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Peppa Whee! and Susie are pretending they are mermaids with long, lovely tails. Hello, seahorses. We can swim around just like you. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> <gasps> it's so pretty! What is it? This is an oyster. <laughs> it has a pearl inside. <gasps> a pearl? <gasps> What's a pearl? It's a very lovely shiny object. Can we open it and see it? An oyster only opens when it's ready, so we'll just have to be patient. Hmm. I can't see the pearl. Excuse me, Mr. Oyster. Can you open, please? We're being really patient. <laughs> Can you go, ah, uh, like at the dentist? Hmm. Um. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> oh, it's not working. <gasps> it's so tickly. <laughs> Let's tickle it open. Mermaid Pepper and Mermaid Susie are trying to tickle the oysters so it'll open. They tickle and tickle and tickle, but the oysters still won't open. It's not working. We'll never see the pearl. We'll just have to wait. <sighs> It's the pearl! It's so pretty! <laughs> the oyster has finally opened. The pearl inside is very lovely indeed. Aww. Rip wob, rip wob! But I want to see the pearl. Can we make it open, please? <laughs> no, Danny. Oh. We have to be patient. Everyone knows that being patient can be tricky, but Peppa and Susie know that the very lovely pearl will be worth the wait. Hooray! <laughs> it is bedtime, but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Peppa or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read, I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Peppa! <laughs> um, 
Yes, Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. Uh -oh. Until one day, she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely. Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Mr. Dinosaur, sir! Excuse me! They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh! She tried giving him cosy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. The bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish the story? Woohoo! The treasure train is on its way. Choo choo! <laughs> Yay! Peppa Pig and Danny Dog are driving a train full of gold, silver, and broccoli. <laughs> Is broccoli treasure? Yes, it's special broccoli made of sparkly diamonds. Peppa and Danny aren't really driving a train. They're using their imagination to pretend. Hooray! Stop! <gasps> In the name of... um... robbers! <gasps> oh no! Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are pretending to be train robbers. Can we have all your treasure, please? <laughs> no. Oh, OK. <laughs> You're supposed to steal the treasure, <laughs> Susie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have stolen all the treasure. Hooray! <sighs> Um, what do we do now? You escape. Oh, yes. Yeehaw! Whoa! <laughs> Come back, you naughty robbers. Now Peppa and Danny are pretending to be police officers. They're going to catch the robbers. Oh. You caught us. No, we didn't. Because, um... Ha! Your mm. boat can fly! Whoa. Um, Madame Gazelle, can ships fly? Real ships cannot fly. Oh! But pretend ships certainly can. Hooray! Wow! Now Pedro and Susie are in a flying boat. Oh, um... <gasps> Our train can fly too! Uh -oh. <laughs> hey. Police officers Peppa and Danny have almost caught the robbers. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Is it a giant? No, it's a daddy pig. And he's coming to take you home. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? We're pretending to fly our boats and trains, Daddy. Oh, my! What an imaginative bunch you all are. Oh, 
Aha! Peppa loves imagining things. Everyone loves imagining things. Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa! Squeak! We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. <sighs> hmm. Something else is missing. Oh! Something to eat! <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. Wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's cold. <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <laughs> oh, I can fit through anything. Uh, uh. Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For you. Ooh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. Uh, hmm, something else is missing. Oh, something to eat! <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. Wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's... Cold! There's 
the ball. Hey! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. Oh, I can fit through anything. <coughs> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. <coughs> Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fort. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> for you. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> 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 Yummy, tasty food. Yummy, tasty food. Today on the cruise, yum, Peppa yum. and her family are at a very special ah. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! <laughs> Thirsty, are you? <laughs> I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! Ooh. The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. <laughs> juice! We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Pepper has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid. Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah! Finish. Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Peppa is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. Mmm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped ah. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. Today, Peppa and George are going for a picnic with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Nearly there! <laughs> it's Peppa's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you OK, Peppa? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic. But they won't fit. Hmm. Do you need all of your toys? Uh, I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Peppa? Oh, 
Let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Pepper, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Pepper? Um, we need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without getting a little jammy. <laughs> Pepper's sandwiches are triangles. Ta-da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> Got the blanket. Ah. Do we need anything else, Pepper? Hmm. We need cups for our orange juice. Well done, Pepper. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Pepper. Oh. But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! Pepper has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. Picnic! <laughs> Everyone loves Peppa's picnic and Peppa loved packing it. Today, Peppa and her friends are at the park. They're about to have a scooter race. First to that tree is the winner. Ready? Steady. Go! My wheel fell off. Oh, dear. Oh, excuse me, Mr Bull. Do you know how to fix my scooter, please? Oh, I definitely do. I know about lots about scooters. <laughs> Mr Bull does mm. not know lots about scooters. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. Don't worry, I'm a bit of an expert at scooters. Daddy does know lots about scooters. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, good old. Do you want to race scooters with us, Mr Bull? Um, well, the reason I don't know a lot about scooters is because I've never ridden one before. <gasps> but it's so fun! Ooh. Yeah, you can go really fast. And it's much better than walking. Oh, my. That does sound fun when you put it like that. We'll teach you. Just put one foot on the scooter and push forward, like this. Seems simple enough. <gasps> Remember to push forward, Mr Bull. <laughs> hey, look at me! I'm scootering! Wahey! Yeah! <laughs> Now turn with the handlebars. You mean like this? Whee! Yes! <laughs> Yay! 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 Whoa! Oh, no! Mr. Bull doesn't know how to slow down. How do I stop? You need to use the brake, Mr. Bull. Brake? This bit? <laughs> Oh, my! How fun! I want to ride down the hill again! Yay! Yay! Scootering is so much more fun than walking! <laughs> Whee! 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 Pepper and Mr Bull are tired from going up the hill. Go 
going uphill is a bit more work than going down. Maybe I should go downhill again. Good idea. <laughs> Mr Bull loves riding scooters. Everyone loves riding scooters. <laughs>